Hi there, I'm Lisa Bronner here on Going Green with Lisa Bronner to chat with you today about vinegar. Uh, this is just a casual mini live uh, where I try to bring you something from my house and in my everyday. Uh, and so vinegar is something that is uh, one of our oldest green cleaning ingredients and I um, think there's a lot of trust in it and a lot of misplaced trust in it. And so I wanted to share how I use it, how I don't use it, the different types and things to think about when you're using vinegar. Um, so when I'm talking about vinegar, unless I specify otherwise, I do mean good old fashioned white distilled vinegar, um, not apple cider vinegar, not cleaning vinegar. Uh, so vinegar is acetic acid. It's diluted uh, to usually house, uh, the normal household strength or kitchen strength is, is uh, let's see, 4%, 5%, actually 5%. And it has a pH around three. Um, that's, that's pretty acidic. Uh, so neutral is seven. One would be extremely acidic. Uh, that's where you would get your you know, hydrochloric acid. And vinegar is at three. So it's something to think about when, when you're using vinegar, that it is an acid. Um, so with vinegar, there are uh, several ways I, I use it around my house. And uh, so I'm going to go over those with you. And then um, I'm going to debunk some myths. Uh, so the other types of vinegar that you hear about are apple cider vinegar. When it comes to house cleaning, there is not really an advantage to apple cider vinegar. It also has um, a higher sugar content that you're not going to want on your surfaces. Um, the, the health benefits um, that, that um, people explore are pretty irrelevant when it comes to house cleaning. So I wouldn't, wouldn't spend your money using apple cider vinegar for house cleaning. Um, then there's cleaning vinegar, which has been making a, a bit of a splash these days. You see 30% vinegar. Um, what that means is that the acetic acid in the vinegar is at 30%. That's really strong. I would not recommend using that uh, casually, um, especially in the areas that I'm going to talk about where vinegar can be a problem. It's really going to be a problem if you're using 30% uh, vinegar. Also realize that pH matters. Um, that's what I was talking about with vinegar being an acid. Um, so uh, you want to be careful that you're not in a situation, especially with cleaning vinegar, that the um, surface is, is very much impacted by pH. Um, personally, I do not use cleaning vinegar. Um, I think it's way too strong uh, and unnecessary. Okay, so where do I use vinegar around my house? Um, I keep vinegar, I know this is a very unromantic looking spray bottle, but honestly, this is what I use. Uh, and this is um, labeled as vinegar, but it's actually 50% um, regular vinegar and water, which means I'm further diluting it. Um, and this is what I'll pull out for my glass cleaner. So I clean all my windows, all my mirrors with, with this. Um, and then for a few of the other uses, I'll pull this out as well. Um, but this is my go-to like powerhouse vinegar. What can vinegar do? It can lift light grease. Um, vinegar is um, uh, able to, to dissolve uh, small amounts of grease. So we're talking like grease from fingerprints or from some cooking splatters. It's not gonna be able to grab a lot of grease like a, like a soap could or salsuds. Um, but it can lift light grease, so that's why it's great for fingerprints. Um, it can also dissolve water spots, and water spots are really mineral deposits uh, from minerals dissolved in hard water, and when we have a bit of a splatter on the glass, on the mirror, on the window, even the rain, um, it leaves what those are is a little bit of minerals, uh, and, and um, vinegar is able to dissolve them, so that's why it makes such a good glass cleaner. Um, other things that vinegar can do, it can dissolve soap scum. Now soap scum, again, is actually a mineral deposit. It's a reaction, the result of a reaction between soap and the minerals in hard water. Uh, so if you have harder water and you're using soap, you're gonna get more soap scum. If you are using uh, a, a non-soap, a detergent, you're gonna get less soap scum. But if you have soap scum, uh, vinegar will dissolve it because it's really great at dissolving minerals. Um, another thing that vinegar can tackle is scale. Now scale, again, is a mineral deposit. Um, scale is what we call calcium or magnesium that accumulates on your fixtures, on your, your faucets, your shower heads. Um, and uh, as I've said, vinegar dissolves minerals. 
So it's useful for all these things. The other uh, place I use a lot of vinegar, in fact, probably the highest amount of uh, vinegar I use in my house is in my laundry. Um, and it's for these same reasons. Vinegar um, can uh, dissolve minerals. I have hard water and uh, hard water can stiffen clothes. Vinegar lifts, uh, dissolves those minerals, carries them away. So it's a rinse aid. Uh, much better option than fabric softener, which is also a rinse aid, but uh, fabric softener leaves a deposit on the clothes, whereas vinegar does not. And what I'm holding right here is my, um, my one gallon that, uh, bottle of vinegar. Um, I buy those in a two pack because I go through so much. Uh, so if I'm uh, washing my laundry um, with, with soap, I'm gonna use vinegar in the rinse aid. Um, Another time I will use uh, vinegar in the laundry, because I actually I use sal suds the most with my laundry, and sal suds is a detergent. It's Dr. Bronner's um, awesome, versatile household detergent, non-toxic, biodegradable. Um, it doesn't need the rinse aid because uh, it, a detergent doesn't react with the minerals in hard water. It doesn't create those deposits. However, sometimes I'm washing a load that's really grubby, like my, my rags or towels or who knows what from my kids' activities. And if it's really grubby and stinky, vinegar is also a deodorizer. That sounds odd because vinegar on its own doesn't smell all that great. But, um, but it does lift the smell out of other things and when it dries, uh, the smell dissipates. Uh, so if I'm, if, as I said, washing the rags or, or uh, you know, stinky towels, I'm gonna go ahead and add vinegar to the rinse compartment and that way it releases at the end and it does a final deodorizing. The other thing that vinegar does is it acts as a fabric softener. Um, so especially if you're break, still in the process of breaking up from your fabric softener, or your dryer sheets, um, vinegar is a great way to help you transition. Use it in the rinse aid of your washing machine. Now, I keep saying put it in the rinse aid, the fabric softener compartment, because vinegar reduces sal suds and, and a detergent's ability to clean. Chemistry happens. You can't just go mixing cleaners and expect them all to work properly. Um, when you combine uh, vinegar with uh, detergent, it's not dangerous, um, but it does reduce the ability of the detergent to clean. You might say, but I've been doing it for so long and it works for me. Um, I promise it'll work better if you don't do that. Um, the other thing that I use vinegar for is in my carpet cleaning. Um, so I have a carpet cleaner that I have to pull out all too often and um, I put vinegar again in the rinse water to help uh, deodorize the carpets um, and also as a rinse aid to make the carpets um, a little bit softer. The smell dissipates. If the smell really bothers you for vinegar, you can, um, one fun thing to do is to take rinds of citrus, citrus rinds, not the juice, but the rinds, um, and soak your vinegar in the rinds for a couple days, the longer, the stronger. So however long you want, just pack a jar full of rinds and then fill it with vinegar, leave it to sit and then strain it out and you've got a scented vinegar uh, made with, um, you know, it might smell like lemons or grapefruit or whatever it was you used. Another way I use vinegar around the house, uh, I haven't needed this in a while because my puppy isn't quite as uh, chewy as she used to be, um, to no chew spray. And I actually do use apple cider vinegar in it because I end up smelling this more. Um, but I have found that if there's, I don't know, puppies chew on the strangest things, you know, a corner of the carpet or a corner of the cabinet. I have a cat that likes to chew window sills. I don't know why, um, but putting a little bit of this, uh, this, is, this is a Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer bottle that I filled with, um, I think I've got half apple cider vinegar, half regular vinegar. I don't know why I did that. I could have used just one. Um, and I spritz that. Uh, lately, my cats have been eating my plants and I've also found that spritzing them lightly uh, with the vinegar helps to deter them. You don't wanna douse the plant because again, we've got acid here. We don't want it to uh, affect the plants. Um, so those are some of the ways I do use vinegar around the house. Now on my body, I use vinegar on my hair and this is where I do use apple cider vinegar because I like the smell of it better. Um, but I wash my hair with Castile soap. I have done this for over a decade. I know that, you know, um, all the chatter online is don't wash your hair with soap. It's got the wrong pH. I've been fine with it, 
but when you wash your hair with soap, you need an acidic rinse. And this is where I will use apple cider vinegar on my hair. Um, so those are that. that's really where you're gonna find vinegar in my house. Now, things I don't do with vinegar. Number one, I do not disinfect with vinegar. Vinegar can kill some bacteria, but it doesn't kill nearly a wide enough range of bacteria, bacteria or viruses uh, to be a reliable disinfectant. So if you are relying on vinegar to sanitize your surfaces, it is not doing that. Um, it does kill some, but it doesn't kill enough. Uh, so that's kind of a common uh, misconception about, about vinegar. Um, it can clean surfaces, as I said, from water spots and grease fingerprints and that sort of thing, uh, make things shiny, but it cannot disinfect. Another thing I don't, I don't do with vinegar, I have uh, stone countertops. These are quartzite. Uh, uh, stone, again, is a very hard mineral. Some stones are harder than others. Vinegar, over time, dissolves minerals. Uh, so if you have a stone countertops, stone floors, do not use vinegar on them. Over time, over a lot of time, you will notice some pitting, uh, some, it'll take the shine off of it. So just make sure that you um, do not clean your stone with vinegar. This is where you would want to use soap. Uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap makes a great stone cleaner because it is alkaline, which is the opposite of acidic. Um, another place I do not use vinegar is I do not use it repeatedly on metal because vinegar can corrode um, aluminum and other types of metal. So uh, as I said, vinegar does remove scale from your faucets, but you're not going to want to do this often um, because, because it will eventually corrode your metal and it won't look very pretty. This is why also I don't use vinegar on my stainless steel um, appliances that I have in my house. I use uh, the salsuds. Um, I, have, I can do another talk on my salsud spray, which is my other heavy heat hitter around the house. Um, but I don't use that on my stainless steel as well. I, the other place I don't use vinegar, and I mentioned this already, is I do not mix vinegar with Castile soap or with salsuds. Um, Vinegar mixed with any true soap, Castile is a true soap, it's not a detergent, uh, they react, they unsaponify, you will lose your vinegar, you will lose your soap, you're gonna end up with a gunk. Um, it's not useful. Um, so I don't mix vinegar with the Castile soap. I also don't mix vinegar with salsas. It doesn't have that same visible reaction, but we have done testing and vinegar mixed with salsas is not as effective of a cleaner. There's no point in doing it. Um, so don't mix it directly with the salsuds with the idea of it making a better cleaner. Uh, it can serve as a rinse aid afterwards to, um, to help rinse the carpet or the laundry or whatever it is, but there's no point in doing it together. So that's my overview of vinegar. Um, I can see that some comments have come in, but um, I'm going to uh, answer those in writing. If you have, if you're watching this afterwards and you have any questions about vinegar, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'll track this for a little while and I'd be happy to um, help answer your cleaning questions or your vinegar questions or your chemistry questions. Um, it's all fun stuff. So thanks so much for joining me for this mini live all about vinegar. I will see you the next time we go green.